Hey guys, welcome back to Spooky Island with a green other reaction. So today I'm here reacting to the Sweet Home Season 3 official teaser. Now this is just been announced that this show is going uh, to be releasing on July the 19th. Um, I am very, very excited. Obviously, Sweet Home is something that I've covered on the channel a lot. I've got a playlist dedicated to the show if you want to check it out. Um... I reacted to all of season one and then a bit of season two as well, the first few episodes. Um, what I tend to do is I usually react to uh, the first few episodes and obviously if they do well, then I, I carry them on. And then obviously if they, they're not doing as well as other shows, then maybe I'll shift my focus onto them. But uh, season two, I thought was very cool. It was a very uh, different experience than I think a lot of people thought it was going to be. Um, a lot of the focus was shifted onto, I guess, characters who... I guess we didn't we didn't know or we didn't we didn't see as much um but hopefully with season three they can kind of shift the focus back onto some of the main characters obviously our our main guy the one that everybody loves um obviously song kang hopefully his character can get a bit more screen time uh because obviously he was such a big role he had such a big role in season one um and that kind of got his his kind of focus got taken away a little bit um in season two kind of his i guess the focus that would have been on him was was used to more develop the world and other characters who will probably be more important in season three but hopefully they can um i guess change it uh, a little bit and, and have the this season will be like i said a bigger focus on those main characters those characters that from season one uh we you know we love so much so I really, I really hope that this season uh, delivers. Obviously, July, we will find out um, if there's anything else that this show drops. I'm sure there'll be a teaser, uh, maybe even some previews. Then I'll definitely uh, react to them. But whatever happens, I'll definitely be reacting to the first few episodes on this channel. Uh, and like I said, if you guys support it and if it does well on the channel, then I'll always um, do some more um reactions and hopefully complete the show now i don't know if this is confirmed this is going to be the last season of the show obviously we know that they filmed season two and season three back to back which is why uh, we have already got season three very quickly um i imagine this show will probably end with season three um i i think the only way it gets more is if this uh, this season does better than season one and two combined because obviously season one went under the radar of a lot of people and um, was a K-drama that I actually discovered myself. It was one of my face, first K-dramas I, I ever watched back in 2020. Uh, and then I, I reacted to it on the channel. I, I started it in 2020 and then uh, reacted to the rest on the channel with you guys. I think it was a year after. Um, so we waited a long time for season two. Season three has come around quite quickly. Um... But I know, obviously, we got confirmed that season two and three were happening. I imagine it will end with this season. Um, well, obviously, everything that happened with with season two is like they've they've led up to quite a big, um, quite a, quite a big new season. There's going to be a lot going on here. Um, but we're going to have to see. I'm excited. We're going to get straight into this reaction, though. Uh, like I said, if you're new, subscribe. I'll definitely be doing some more Sweet Home uh, videos of when the time comes over the next few months. The next month. Not a few months, because it comes out next month. Uh, and if you want to check out some other Sweet Home reactions, like I said, they're on the channel in the playlist dedicated to the show. We're going to get straight into the teaser, though. Without further ado, let's get into it. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah, survivors of the stadium. Honestly, a happy ending. I imagine this is going to be it. Yeah. There was a lot of different uh, shifts on like the focus in this show. Oh! Monsterization, this is the first step in the transformation. Obviously, we, we got a lot of this in season two. Oh my god, what a shot that was, July 19th. 
Oh my god. The CV has gone up an even bigger step. What a shot that is. I really hope. Okay. Are we going to get season finale? It is. I knew it was going to be the last season. Returns. Oh, what a shot. I really hope. I really hope we can they can deliver with this with this last season. There, there seems to be a lot of potential. I'll be honest. It looks like it looks like a um, a very good last. See, like there is there is a lot of um, there there is a lot of weight on this last season. I think. I'm sorry if you can hear noise in the background. There's some work going on next door that is out of my control. But. There's a lot of people saying that they're happy that obviously Song Kang is going to probably be getting a bigger focus this season. Um, I think, like, this is already confirmed that this is going to be the finale. They've obviously filmed back to back. They're, you know, they know that this is the ending that they want. I think with season two, this kind of reminds me of how some animes go sometimes. You have a, I guess, a weaker season compared to, to multiple, so that it, I guess it can set up the last season. Um, and that's kind of what they ended up doing with season two. I felt they obviously had a lot of big story arcs, a lot of characters who I guess weren't really a, a thing in the first season because of how closed off and minute season one was, was just in the apartment. And then we go into this uh, whole open world city where you see the effects of what's happening and the monsters trying to do one thing and they had obviously people surviving the stadium and stuff like that. There was a lot of different, uh, I guess, plot points over the course of the show that kind of almost, I think, made it messy to some people um, where we never got anything like that in season one. You know, it's a completely different season with season two. But hopefully this can transform, this final season can transform into a, a very good ending for the show because that's what it really does deserve you know we have some of the coolest looking characters and and really over the course of two seasons especially one with with Son Kang's character his development as a, as a character and as a person especially what he went through with season one was so cool to see um and they obviously like I said he didn't get much screen time in season two uh at all they like I said they shifted their their focus across uh across the the the, the whole scape of the show um but i'd love to see him like i said finish off the show was uh like dominantly him in the first season with obviously a lot of the other side characters and stuff um and i i'm i'm excited i'm very excited i hope you guys enjoyed though thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys very soon check out some more videos on the channel and yeah i'll see you guys soon take care